all experience stiffness, decreased flexibility, joint pain as we get <clears throat> older. But our next guest says mobility training will help us all out so we don't have to live like that. Fitness coach Andrea Tam is here to share easy on-the-go exercises to improve the way our body functions. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for having me. I love your sparkle. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we need that in the morning. Okay, so let's talk about mobility training and why it is so important. Okay, excellent. So mobility training is super important, at least to try to do 10 minutes, maybe three to five times a week. It's good for improved function in your joints and also for your muscles. So I've put together some videos that we can go through and then you can take a look at just simple exercises to do on a okay. daily basis. And that doesn't sound like a whole lot of time. So let's look at some of these exercises. Let's start with the hips and thighs. What can we do to improve mobility there? Great, so the first one is your hip flexor stretch. And what we can do is, so you wanna always make sure your knee is in line, okay, hip. Mm -hmm. You wanna tuck, tuck it under there and come forward and lean in slightly. If you can see a lean in slightly with the right leg and stretch that hip flexor right there. And you can hold these positions for about 90 seconds and then you would switch to the other leg. Okay. okay. And again, just make sure always your chest is proud, your core is engaged. You wanna dig the knee and the foot into the mat as well. And the bear stretch, what is the bear oh, stretch? Oh, this is great for is the inner thigh. It's a good one, it's a good okay. one. It's great for the inner thigh, so your adductor muscles. You wanna hold on to those ankles um, and just open up, make sure again, everything is always in line, okay? You always wanna have your back, uh, chest upright, back nice and flat, and hold on to those ankles mm -hmm. and take deep breaths. And just, and just breathe. Breathe, breathe. And how important is breath here? Super important, yeah. okay? You always wanna inhale, exhale throughout each of the movements. Mm -hmm. And um, then we go on to the next one. Oh, we're still in bear here. This is if, the bear stretch. This is the bear. Got if you it. want a more um, active stretch, you can also just bring the arms forward mm -hmm. and hold in that position. Okay, obviously like neck and shoulders. All of a sudden, ow. Um, so what can I do to improve my mobility? So the um, next one is I believe we're gonna do the... You, you can walk us through it, okay. we'll put up the video. So okay. the next one is? So the next one is your child's pose, okay. thread the needle. So this is a great one um, for your spine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna spread out your fingertips. Like that, yeah. Make sure your toes, big toes are touching. And you're gonna drive one arm underneath. Mm -hmm. Okay, right there. And you're gonna oh, twist. Like that. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a good one also for the shoulder, yeah. for the spine. And you're gonna release tension in the neck and the upper body as well. The cat-cow pose, I know that's popular in yoga. How does this help us? So with, with mobility training, a lot of yoga poses can also be used to help with the mobility. So your cat-cow is good for the spinal flexion and extension. Okay, so you're gonna basically start again on all fours. You're gonna arch your back, okay, for your, mm -hmm. arch your back for your spinal um, flexion, mm -hmm. and then your cow is your spinal extension. Okay, okay loosens the spine. Again, breathing super important here. You want to inhale and exhale throughout the movements. Oh, and this feels so good too. Super good. I know, I'm feeling through these videos right now. <laughs> Let's talk about glutes and lower back. What can you do there? Okay, so there's a couple moves for glutes and lower back. Um, we have our deadlift, our single leg deadlift. So as you, again, always engage the core, chest proud. You're going to lift the leg, the rear leg, mm -hmm. squeeze those glutes. Ooh. and then Okay, lift. Yeah, there we go. You're going to drive that knee in, squeeze the glutes. Mm -hmm. And um, again, brace the core. Also good for your inner thighs here. And lastly, the thing that I really dislike doing, but I know it's good for me, the lunges. Lunges. Yeah. So lunges are, again, really good for inner thighs and your hips. So you're going to lunge to the side. Um, take a deep breath, chest is proud, and also good for the ankles. I like this one too, a little bit for the ankles, right, because you're going shifting from side to side. So hips, glutes, core, ankles as well. Andrea, great to have you in studio, and thanks for these uh, video, the demos on those videos. Really, really great. Great, thank have you. Have a good day, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.